Y'all, imagine if I woke up one day and saw the PewDiePie roasting the heck out of my videos on his YouTube channel. I would totally disappear and never come back again. You know, it's a bit weird to me to mention both Dixie D'Amelio and PewDiePie on the same topic, but apparently PewDiePie is now roasting a bunch of TikTokers on his channel and um, he kind of went too far with it as well. Don't worry, no one is acting surprised here. Believe it or not, there isn't a celebrity or an influencer on this earth that PewDiePie hasn't roasted yet. And the fact that he has also got a strong fan base makes it really difficult to even go and try and defend yourself against him. That's how powerful he is, y'all. Now, as you've mostly seen by his popular videos, PewDiePie is dragging TikTokers left and right in his YouTube videos for literally years by now. And, um, Despite how it's been a while since the TikTok community has been trending for their messy scandals, PewDiePie decided to shine the spotlight on them this week after he posted a YouTube video titled TikTok Celebs House Tours is a Thing Now. In the video, you guys, PewDiePie thought it would be best if he went after the Sway Boys by reacting to one of their old house tours. And y'all, just take a look at what he had to say about Bryce Hall and Josh Richards. That's the, uh, I'm balding, but I want to hide it haircut. One of 300, so there's only 200. Bro, these haircuts, dude. Get the f out of here. What is that? You look like a floor mop. Um, I mean, he he does have a point. Just when you think PewDiePie stopped there. Well, he took it to the next level when he decided to move on from roasting the Sway Boys to Dixie D'Amelio, as he immediately started making fun of how Dixie was being listed as a singer instead of a TikToker on Google. Hello. Hey guys, it's Dixie. Wait, is she a YouTuber or a TikToker? She's a singer, known for her social media TikTok, but she's not, she's a singer? <laughs> Sure. You can t you can title stuff for your ever your whatever you want apparently. It didn't even take a second for PewDiePie to embarrass Dixie D'Amelio more in his video after he started dragging her for pretending to have ADHD just so people wouldn't make fun of the random words she was throwing in her video. ADHD, you understood what I was saying. If oh, she must be on her fucking meds now. Because I feel like you talk without thinking and it makes sense at the time and then you listen and then think, what was I saying? And that's what happened. But yeah, this is the glam room. So she said a bunch of dumb shit in an interview and the way her she addresses is like, uh, yeah, ADHD, you speak a lot and uh, that was dumb. I can't be held out accountable for what I say. I have ADHD. Then at the end, PewDiePie proceeded to call Dixie D'Amelio extremely boring. And the fact that this isn't the first time a YouTuber has said the same thing about Dixie says a lot, you guys. If I'm wearing it, I usually take it off right after I'm done wearing it because I get very overheated and like, rip it off so i try not to wear any jewelry that i love like she's extremely boring of course pewdiepie couldn't mention the sway boys and dixie d'amelio in his video without talking about the hype house too my name's nick austin my name is chase <laughs> is, is this a show con a showcase of their work <laughs> Oh my god, I don't care, just show the f house. Oh my god, they, they are the ones that make the worst TikTok. These these guys are the reason everyone hates TikTok, like miming and awkwardly dancing. In the first, like, <laughs> two months of living. Anyways, let's take a look at what people had to say about PewDiePie coming after these TikTokers and whether they agree with him or not. This is less of a critique of their homes and more of a critique of their character. Come on, we want unbiased opinions. I always feel bad for Dixie. The way Pewds was describing her needing comfort and organization in her house because of her hectic life makes so much sense. All I could see in this video was that all these people have zero personality just like their houses. As expected, the comments were a little bit mixed, but the sad part about this, y'all, is that this situation wasn't the huge shocker that went down on social media this week because my girl Nikita Dragon decided to make another comeback. And y'all, it was awful as Heck. In my previous video, your girl discussed the huge mess that Nikita involved herself in last week after she made a YouTube video titled R.I.P. Nikita Dragon, where she clickbaited her fans into thinking she was actually dead. Instead, she was just promoting her new brand deal as a comeback to her cancellation. And y'all, not only did this make Nikita receive a lot of hate, but even people started attacking her for being so heartless and embarrassing that she had to clickbait her death for views and attention. Like. 
How desperate could you get, Nikita? Anyways, that's not the point in today's video because as Nikita was promoting RIP Nikita Dragon on all her social media platforms, things got very disturbing and annoying later on when she unfollowed the majority of her followers on Instagram. And y'all, she even archived all of her Instagram pictures by leaving this specific new video on her page. Who's gonna tell her that this is not the serve she thinks it is? This video alone, you guys, was able to make people extremely angry to the point where they started making fun of Nikita in the comment section. And y'all, even the caption she wrote under her video was literally the definition of a bullshit PR stunt and cloud chasing. RIP Nikita Dragon. I have had many rebirths in my life, physically, professionally, privately. I have found myself lost myself, then completely fell from knowing myself at all. Life will do that to you. The pursuit of fame, money, and grandeur will do that to you. The beauty in falling and losing yourself is that there is always a choice to get your ass back up and start over, to rebirth yourself. What the hell are you talking about? After literally digging and searching, trying to find what's the secret behind R.I.P. Nikita Dragon's sentence, it later turned out that she was just promoting her new merch called R.I.P. Nikita Dragon. And based on what she stated on her website, a portion of people's purchases will be donated to different transgender organizations. Is this how you're gonna take accountability for literally disrespecting multiple transgender people in the music industry? Just take a look at how people dragged her through the mud for trying to pull a PR stunt on us without even apologizing. Literally what? This makes no sense at all. LMAO. This is getting ridiculous. Anything for publicity now, I guess. Bye. Nikita, sweetie, death isn't something to joke about. Anyways, y'all, shall we end today's video with Nessa Barrett getting bullied for being hypocritical? It really took a moment for people to realize that Nessa Barrett is the queen of being a hypocrite. Before I end up getting canceled on Twitter, no. This isn't some sort of shade towards Nessa or anything. I just find it funny how people suddenly became aware that Nessa has been tricking our minds every time she goes on social media to defend herself. Because guess what, y'all? This week, she decided to go to an interview to claim that she isn't the type of girl to put people's lives on display. All the shade you have thrown at influencers and TikTokers on Twitter and all the scandals you put people through just for you to say that you're not that type of person anymore? If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, just watch this short clip. Personally, for me, I feel like I'm at a point where... I don't really feel the need to uh, put everyone's life on display and uh, kind of call everyone out and make it known kind of what people have done. I'm past that. I'm fine with like knowing my truth and like my side. But I just think it's kind of like a maturity thing. You know, it's like I could say all of this stuff that you've done and a lot of people might not like it, but I won't. I genuinely want to know who made her say this because Nessa, honey, you gotta trust me when I say this doesn't make you seem edgy and different. Just take a look at people's responses. IDK, but the way she talks just triggers me. Here y'all go with she's so mature for her doing the bare minimum because she's guilty. Legit stole her bestie's man. Anyways, loves, don't forget to leave your opinions on Nessa Barrett and today's recap video down in the comments below. I love you so much.